Here are the 25 all-time best military movie lines. So let me start with my credentials. After spending 20 years in the Navy, I've watched hundreds if not thousands of movies. Starting with 16 millimeter format through VHS to DVDs. I've seen Pee Wee's Big Adventure more than 100 times alone. So to come up with this list, we've employed a proprietary formula that we call the Mooch Tally. The elements of the Mooch Tally are shareability. How likely is it that you would see a line on a meme or a gif? Two is wearability. Would the line look good on a t-shirt, ball cap, or even a coffee mug? Three is riffability. How often would someone in a social situation or an office meeting use one of these lines? And then four is the timeless truth factor. Is there wisdom in a line beyond where it's used in the movie? The Mooch Tally, or MT for short, goes from zero to 40, baking in all of those four elements in a proprietary formula. So let's get right to the list. Coming in at number 25 with an MT of 19.3. All your new process is a bullet. So the Green Beret was pretty huge in the late 60s, influential in that it convinced many Americans that the Vietnam War was tidy and winnable. Plus it made the list because it has John Wayne in it and also the timeless truth of due process being a bullet. At number 24, with an MT of 19.7. Only two kinds of people are going to stay on this planet. Those that are already dead, those that are going to die. So this one made the list because The Longest Day was the D-Day gold standard film before Saving Private Ryan, plus Robert Mitchum. At number 23, with an MT of 20.3. Here's the way it ought to be, and here's the way it is. Platoon is one of Oliver Stone's definitive works, one a few Oscars, great performances turned in by Charlie Sheen, Tom Berenger in that clip there, and Willem Dafoe. Oliver Stone served in Vietnam, and this movie was very much influenced by his experiences there. This one made the list because of the timeless truths, the way it ought to be and the way it is. Something to keep in mind in any military situation or life, for that matter. At number 22, with an MT of 20.7. We're airborne. We don't start fights finish them. So Hamburger Hills, classic military movie. I'm partial to this one because I embedded with 101st Airborne. This one made the list because of wearability and shareability as well. At number 21 with an MT of 21.2. Before I'm through with you, you're going to move like one man and think like one man. If you don't, you'll be dead. This one made the list because of timeless truths. Also, here's a little bit of trivia. Sands of Iwo Jima is one of the three movies John Wayne dies in. Do you know the other two? If so, please put it in the comments. All right, number 20 with an MT of 20.5. It's about the men next to you. And that's it. So this one scored well in the element of timeless truths. What actor Eric Bana said there applies to any military situation throughout history. And Black Hawk Down is a fantastic reading of Mark Bowden's book of the same name. The movie is pretty punishing from beginning to end. All right, coming in at number 19 with an MT of 21.9. Ideals are peaceful. History is violent. Brad Pitt obviously gets the choice roles in the movies he chooses, and usually they have some great takeaway lines, and this is one of them. This scene in the movie Fury where he's schooling an idealistic subordinate about the realities of war is a classic, and it scores high in the timeless truths factor because of the wisdom that extends beyond this movie. Number 18, with an MT of 22.7. Sir, I got lost on the way to college, sir! So Jake Gyllenhaal does a great job in Jarhead of playing Private Anthony Swafford. This line scores very high in the riffability element of the Mooch Tally. I've heard this said countless times from the more junior ranks of the military. As a side note, I've worked with Anthony Swafford a couple of times, most recently during my years in Hollywood, when he was pivoting from being a fiction writer to being a screenwriter. He's a great guy. Number 17 is one that's near and dear to my heart, coming in with an MT of 23.9. I leave this ship and I do the job. And I must find this speck lost somewhere on the sea. When they find it, they have to land on its pitching deck. Where do we get such men? Bridges of Toko Ri 
is a classic, to put it mildly, and it set the standard for carrier-based movies. This line scores very high in riffability. I cannot tell you how many times I heard this walking around the aircraft carrier over the years. Also, this is something that would look good on a sash at a bachelorette party. At number 16, with an MT of 24.4. I ain't got time to bleed. Predator has a lot of good lines. This one by former Navy SEAL Jesse Ventura is a classic. Scores high in the wearability and shareability, as well as the riff ability. Number 15, with an MT of 24.9, features an actor who specializes in classic lines, whether it's a military movie or not. You remember, Sally, when I promised to kill you last? That's what made you... You did! I lied. Arnold Schwarzenegger playing John Matrix in Commando. This one scored very high in the element of riffability. Next at number 14 with an MT of 25.6. Murdoch. I'm coming to get you. Like Arnold Schwarzenegger, Sylvester Stallone's movies are basically a vehicle for him to deliver one-liners like this. This one's a classic. The Rambo franchise always scores high in the element of riffability. This line is definitely a standout. Number 13, an absolute classic with a mooch tally of 26.3. No bastard ever won a war by dying for his country. He won it by making the other poor dumb bastard die for his country. This performance by George C. Scott is amazing throughout. This opening monologue earned big points for its timeless truths element. It's also a very riffable speech, and that's why it's on the list. And number 12, with an MT of 27.9. They may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom! Braveheart is one of those movies that if you're channel surfing and it's on, you're going to watch it wherever it is in the movie. That line scores high in all of the different elements of the Mooch Tally, particularly in shareability, wearability, and riffability. Coming in at number 11 with an MT of 28.7. Stand out of your weapon. Keep those actions clear. And I'll see you on the beach. Saving Private Ryan is a cinematic achievement one of Spielberg's best movies, if not the best movie. It replaced The Longest Day as the gold standard movie about the invasion on June 6th, 1944. This line scores very high in the Mooch tally with respect to shareability, wearability, riffability. And this scene particularly shows the courage of all of those who were involved on that day. And Tom Hanks' portrayal of Captain John Miller is fantastic. Number 10 is from a movie I'm very partial to, coming in with an MT of 29.9. I got nowhere else to go! Some might suggest that Richard Gere has a tendency to overact a little bit. This one pretty much pegged the meter in terms of riffability. Coming in at number 9 with an MT of 30.8, arguably my favorite movie. Gentlemen, you can't fight in here. This is the war room. This is arguably Stanley Kubrick's greatest work. Peter Sellers plays three roles, and every line is a classic, so choosing one was very tough. But this one pegged the meter in terms of the timeless truths and the riffability. Also, somebody made it into a GIF. At number eight, with an MT of 31.7. Ready your breakfast and eat hearty. But tonight, we dine in hell! 300 is based on my good friend Stephen Pressfield's book called Gates of Fire. If you've never read Gates of Fire, you owe it to yourself to check it out. And that line is very high in the element of riffability in social situations where somebody's picked a restaurant that everybody doesn't agree with. Now, as we're getting into the top seven, it starts to get very close in terms of the Mooch tally. Coming in at number seven with an MT of 31.9 is this. Lighten up, Francis. <laughs> so the late Warren Oates turns in a great performance as Sergeant Hulka in this movie written by the also late Harold Ramis. It's also a star vehicle for Bill Murray. A lot of good lines in this one, but this one scored very high 
in the riffability as well as the wearability and the shareability elements of the Mooch Tally. So at number six, with an MT of 32.5, is from a movie that has two lines on the list. Here's this classic. You can be my wingman anytime. So on this channel, we've talked about Top Gun and Top Gun Maverick, and we will continue to do so in the future as we near the release of the sequel in mid-November. But this line, classic, scores very high in the Mooch Tally with all of the elements. Who among us has not been with a group of friends where somebody doesn't say, you can be my wingman anytime. Coming in at number five with an MT of 33.1, is another movie that has two lines on this list. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. Robert Duvall's performance as Lieutenant Colonel Bill Kilgore is signature. This scene particularly has probably half a dozen lines that could be on this list, but this line particularly scores high in all of the MT elements, particularly wearability, shareability, and riffability. Number four, with an MT of 33.6, is another movie full of good lines, but this one stands out. At my signal, unleash hell. Gladiator is another movie that if it's on when I'm channel surfing, I will watch it, regardless of where it is in the movie. Russell Crowe's performance is amazing end to end. This line from the opening scene is fantastic and the way he delivers it so low key really does set the tone for this character, Maximus. Scores very high in terms of shareability, wearability, and riffability. I've heard a couple of company presidents and CEOs say this at the end of a meeting when they're trying to motivate a sales team. At number three, with an MT of 35.3, is the second from this classic movie. Charlie, don't surf! Only Robert Duvall and John Wayne are on this list twice, which I'm comfortable with. This line scores very high in terms of wearability, shareability, and riffability. All right, we're down to the top two. At number two, with an MT of 37.4. I feel the need, the need for speed. Ow! So this one scores very high in wearability, shareability, and riffability. Finally, at number one, with an amazing Mooch Tally score of 38.7. You can't handle the truth! What can you say? A great line that almost maxes out the Mooch Tally formula. Very high in terms of wearability, shareability, riffability. Also, there's some timeless truth baked in there, let's be honest. So that's the list. The 25 all-time best military movie lines. Before you go, if you're a first-time viewer, please ring the bell and become a subscriber. Give me the likes, very important in terms of the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you do not agree with this definitive list, remember it's science that we've employed. Please let me know in the comments. Love the comments and I try to engage with commenters as much as I can. If you'd like to support the channel, help us take it to the next level, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash wardcarroll. Don't forget my debut novel, Punk's War, is on sale at usni.org slash press slash books slash punks dash war. Also, check out the links below for our official channel t-shirts. Summertime, t-shirts are all the rage. Appreciate those who are helping us show the channel colors. That'll do it for this episode. I look forward to talking to you again soon.